Right, we are ready to begin. We are starting at location four. That's the closest village or town, so we've got to come down to here. Now, the scout does have some bonuses in certain areas in terms of combat, so I want to stay in the hills and the forests as much as possible, but uh, it's still I'm still going to have the quickest journey there, and then I'm going to have to come up I think I don't want to go this way or this way because um, like I say in, in terrain like forests swamp hills and mountains I mean I don't, I don't think actually think there are any, any mountain terrains I think it's just hills but I get bonus free rerolls um, so anywho let's see how we do so we've got Amalas the scout we first got to come down to here now in the game every turn you move one hex there's no rolling um, there's there's no mechanics for that. You just move one hex. Doesn't matter about terrain type. Um, but then when you move into the hex, you have to check and see whether anything happens. In this mission, you have to check for monsters first. And then once you've overcome any monsters, you then get to do whatever else is in that hex. Um, <laughs> oh God, oh uh, Andrea, how could you confirm? How could you confirm that major foe, minor foe thing? Oh dear. Was it a 16? Was it a 16% minor foe? 42% major foe? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I have actually found Arcadia Quest miniatures to represent the various major foes. Because you don't, you don't actually need them. Oops. Put it a bit far away. You don't actually need the, the minor foes, the skeletons or zombies. Because you know... Once you kill them, you kill them kind of thing. But major foes, um, if you run away from combat, which is another thing you can do, they, they stick around. So you've got to be able to note down... This is an ogre from Arcadia Quest. So yeah, once, once you've encountered a major foe and you don't kill it, it stays in that hex. So with the standees that the game comes with, you, you kind of print one and leave one there. But because I've only got limited amounts of these um, these models, I'm going to have to put some dice in there instead. Yeah. I've labelled each major foe with a dice, and I'll just leave a dice in the, the relevant hex if I run away. Run away! Which I think could happen. Right, let us see how we go. So we're starting here. So first turn, Armalas, the scout. We are going, I think direct route's probably the best. I could go here, 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 but that's just more hexes to check for. So we are going to move first into this hex here, which is a hill hex. We have to check and see whether there is a creature there. So reading the mission again, let me get, I've got, I printed it out separately so it's easy to read. So every time you enter a hex, roll a one in six chance of encountering a random minor foe. If that doesn't happen, three in six then major foe. Yeah, <sighs> okay. So is there a minor foe? Six. No. Is there a major foe? <laughs> He's fine. Uh, this is going to be a quick game. Right, so there's a major foe in this hex. Oh, God. What is it? It's a number one, which is a Chaos Lord. Ah, nuts. So, <laughs> this is the model I'm using to represent the Chaos Lord. Mm-hmm. So... Chaos Lord versus Scout. Oh, God. All right, we may have to run away straight away. <laughs> All right, Chaos Lord, let's have a look and see. All right, Chaos Lord. Because of the Chaos Lord's mutant powers, you downgrade dice that roll one or two. Oh, no! When fighting him. The Chaos Slayer character is immune to this effect. Mm -hmm. And downgrade. Okay, a blow from the Chaos Lord kills one of your dice, not downgrades. It kills one of my dice. Chaos Lord is difficulty six for persuasion rolls. I think that's for other characters like the Bard and stuff. Uh, difficulty five, three hit points. So I've actually got to hit him three times. Difficulty five. Should I run away straight away? <laughs> um, if I keep running away, it's not going to make for a very exciting episode, is it? But. I think first hex, first encounter is a chaos lord. I think, I think I have to run away. Oh, 
should I run away? Oh dear. Now, if you if you run away, basically the Chaos Lord will stay there. Um, if I go into that hex, I meet him again, and any wounds I've inflicted will be healed on him. When you move away, the opponent hits you automatically. You cannot defend. So if I run away, automatically one of my dice is going to be dead. Can't have any swearing on the YouTube nowadays. Oh, dear. Um, the thing is, it's difficulty five. So I've got to roll. I have to roll the dice. And I've got to get at least a five on one of the dice to hit him. And if I get a one or two, they're downgraded. But it's per turn. Two free rerolls per turn. Oh, let's, let's, let's do it. What the hell? Let's fight the Chaos Lord. Okay. So we are going to, again, we, unless it says otherwise, I think we normally attack first. Um, right, so I need fives. How many dice do I want to risk? Because if I roll a one or two, it gets downgraded. But I've got to get at least a five. I get two rerolls per turn. Now I'm assuming that turn is the attack and then the defense roll. So it's actually two different rolls. Um, I think I'm going to roll five, five dice. All right, I need at least a five. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, love, hate. Oh, love, hate. Yeah, okay, look, I've got, I've got the fives I needed to inflict a wound. So the Chaos Lord is down to two wounds. But look. Oh, dear. I mean, I could... No, I can't reroll because they get downgraded automatically before you do the reroll. Ah, nuts. So these two get moved down to tired already. And that's just the first attack. Ah. Right, now I have to defend. Uh, same difficulties. Oh, dear. I'm going to use four, four dice. I've got to get fives again. Now, I still have my two rerolls, which I'm going to need. That gets downgraded. I can re-roll... Okay, so I can re-roll two. <laughs> oh, okay, so he kills when he hits. Oh, man. All right, second turn. Uh, attack, I'm going to use four dice. I need fives. <laughs> See what I mean about this game hating me? Right, well, I mean, I succeeded. I got a five, so I hit him. He goes down to one. But look, again, my God. <clears throat> um, so yeah, after two rounds of combat, I haven't even done the defense yet. Okay, let's do the defense. I'll roll... Th so you've got to roll fresh dice as much as you can. So I could do three from here and then one from there. I think I'll do that. So I'll roll the fresh dice first. Oh, nuts. And I roll this one. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't hit him. I need to hit him. So that gets downgraded. Um, oh, nuts. That stays there. Uh, I've got to hit him. So I'll re-roll these two. I need a f yeah, I've got to... S oh, no. <sighs> okay, so... Oh no, on a reroll the 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 um downgrading doesn't happen. Oh thank god for that. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I kill him because I got a six, so that's three that's three wounds. So I actually managed to kill the Chaos Lord, but look at my dice. My god, I've got one dead, I've got six tired, and I've got two fresh dice. That's after one hex, one combat. Right, what do we get? So for the Chaos Lord we get one glory, two treasure points, or one magic item. Um, okay, I get, get one glory. That's automatic. So I've got a choice: two treasure points, two treasure points, or one magic item. Um, I think I think I'll go for the uh, healing. I, I might need healing, so I think I'll go for the. I think I'll go for the treasure points. So I've got two treasure points. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not a good start. Okay, so the <laughs> first encounter, first hex, we meet a major foe. 
Um, but luckily, thanks to the combat in the hills, I get two free rerolls per turn, which basically saved me. But look at my dice. This is why, again, this is why this game, ah, oh, I love, I love the mechanics. I love the design, but oh, I'm just unlucky. Right. So that was the first hex, but now we have to check. Once we've overcome them, any kind of creatures, we've now got to check the hex itself. So for that, we go to back to the book and we will check terrain. Right. So for the terrain, the hill, make an exploration roll versus difficulty four. On a failure, reduce one fresh die to tired. If you have no fresh dice, ignore this result. Okay, so we've got a difficulty four. Okay, I'll just use two dice. Got a six. I'm fine. Well, I mean, is it, does this count as a difficulty? Exploration. I get two free rerolls, but it doesn't matter because I passed. But no, oh, look. Uh, <sighs> I've got one fresh dice after one hex. I've got one fresh die. <laughs> so that's it. Moving, it's moving down. Oh, I'm in trouble. I haven't even got to the town yet. Right. Now, um, I could move to here and get the bonuses again, but it's going to take me longer to get to the village. I'm going to have to go through a clear hex anyway. So I'm just going to take the shortest route. So now I move into this hex, which is clear. So there's no terrain effects, but I do have to check and see whether there is going to be a baddie. So I'll use my dice. Is there a minor foe? Yes, there's a minor foe. Okay. <laughs> At least it's not a major foe. I'm a little bit worried though, the fact that I've got two hexes and two creatures, right? So for minor foes, we'll be rolling on this table here. Um, hmm. So we're rolling 2d6. I'll, I'll use these different dice for this. So 2d6. Now, um, normally you're only going to encounter a single creature, but sometimes the the um, the mission or the um, the terrain or whatever will actually tell you that there will be more than one. However, there is, if you roll a 12, heroic minor foe. Reroll on the table, but give the creature plus one to their difficulty and hit points. If you roll a 12 again, add another hit point and roll again. So you could end up with actually some pretty major minor foes. What do we get? We get a five. A zombie. We're up against a zombie. Okay, zombies are undead. You may automatically destroy a zombie by using a vial of holy water. Don't have. Zombies travel in groups. Every time you destroy a zombie, you must roll a two in six chance that another zombie appears and attacks you. Now, normally, when you are up against multiple foes, you don't have a chance to do the... Oh, that's a point. After the combat with the Chaos Lord, I can actually move one dice from Tired back to Fresh. I forgot to do that. But yes, going back to what I was saying, if you're up against uh, multiple foes, you normally can't do that, um, that free upgrade from Tired to Fresh in between the fights. You have to wait until all, the, all of them are dead. But reading this here, every time you destroy a zombie, you must roll. Another zombie appears and attacks you. So again, I don't think I can do that that free upgrade unless I kill, unless unless they stop appearing. Damage kills one die. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. So zombies are D3. So I got my zombie figures from Arcadia Quest. They've got some really nice cheapy figures in that game. I mean, the game itself is actually really fun. Highly recommend looking at Arcadia Quest. I may have to do a video on that, actually. But the figures are really nice. I haven't painted any of them. <laughs> but they're really nice. Right, I got me zombie. <laughs> got me zombie. Now, there's only one at a time. Hopefully there's only going to be one. Right, so zombies are difficulty three. And if they hit me, they kill one dice. This isn't good. Right. So difficulty three. I don't, I'm not going to get any bonuses because I'm not in any kind of terrain. So it's just a normal roll. Difficulty three. Do I feel lucky? See, the thing is with minor foes, again, unless you roll that 12 and make it heroic, they only need to hit them one time. So I think I'm just going to roll two dice. I just need a... <laughs> I just need a three. There you go. Sweet. Sorted. 
zombie dead. <laughs> now let's see whether another one appears. So it is a uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A two in six chance another one appears. Swine! Ah, here we go. The dice hate me. Another zombie. Right, same thing again. Oh, nuts. Okay, well, I kill him. But look. Oh. Okay, zombie dead. Is there another one? Come on, come on. No, thank God for that. Okay, so I only encountered two zombies. Okay, good. But... Oh, actually, no, because at the end of combat, oh, okay. <laughs> Still not looking good. Right, do we get anything for killing zombies? Is there any rewards? There's no rewards at all, nothing. You don't get nothing for killing minor foes. No, unless it says so, I suppose. Right, I get nothing for that, but we do get to move to the village. But again, we've got to check and see whether there's any creatures outside before we can go in so minor foe no major foe <laughs> i'm sure this is not correct i'm sure that these values are wrong it can't be a 42 percent chance of getting a major foe <laughs> all right who's waiting for me outside the gates a four an ogre oh my word Oh my word, we're up against a bleeding ogre. Oh, crunch. Ogre says crunch. All right, let's have a butcher's at what the ogre does. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, ogres deal terrible blows capable of breaking bones and armor. If an ogre hits you, you may not use any rerolls on defense rolls. <gasps> Until you visit a town? That's the only town? And spend one treasure to get the bones or armor fixed. Oh... The effect is not cumulative. If an ogre hits you multiple times or just once, the effect is the same. Further hits from the ogre downgrade one of your dice. Okay, so he doesn't kill dice. He downgrades dice. But that broken bones is a... Ooh, that's nasty. Ogres are vulnerable to magic. The difficulty three if attacked with a spell or magic item. Ogres are difficulty six for persuasion. Again, I think that the uh, characters like the bard can use persuasion to, to, to prevent combat and stuff. They're dumb and only interested in people. Eating people. Difficulty four. Five hit points. Oh, five hit points. Oh, nuts. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Difficulty four. Now, again, I'm not getting any bonuses here, am I? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. And if he hits me, I can't use any rerolls and defense. Ah. <sighs> This isn't good at all. Okay, so we're up against the ogre. <laughs> God. All right, um, again, we attack first unless it says so. So it doesn't say otherwise, so we're attacking first. I need to get fours. Because we've got nothing magic. Um, fours. I think I'm going to roll... Because we've got no re-rolls this time, that's the thing. I think I'm going to roll... <laughs> uh, th mm, four. I'm going to roll four dice. So fresh. Okay, we got the six and the four, and then these we got the six and the five. Wow, that was a really good roll. Um, okay, so we hit. There's no more downgrading, which is okay. It is good. We do one damage to him. He's down to four. Now we've got to defend. I think I'm going to do the same thing for defense. Four dice. So. Uh, they fail, but they don't downgrade because it's not the Chaos Lord anymore. Oh, sugar. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Broken bones. Broken bones. I've got no rerolls, have I? Now, the thing is, I can choose to, to actually... If all your dice fail, you can choose to reroll, but any dice you reroll will automatically downgrade. I've still got at least four more turns with this bastard, so I'm, I'm thinking he's going to break me bones at some point, so... Uh, damn it! Okay, so we're going to write here, Ogre broke bones. Nuts. Oh, so, um, 
Uh, uh, okay, further hits from the ogre downgrade one of your dice. So the first time they hit doesn't downgrade dice. It just breaks the bones. Oh, nuts. But none of these downgraded. Okay, so they got back there. Next round, we're going to do the same thing again. Oh, nuts. Well, we hit. He's down to three. But I'm going to have to downgrade another dice. Look, oh, no. He hits back, so I've got to defend. Okay, we're going to be doing four dice again. So fresh. Miss. Tired. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, okay. So those downgrade. That stays there. That goes there. And he downgrades a dice. Oh, no. Um, it's got to be this, isn't it? Oh, dear. It's still got three hit points left. Okay. So we're rolling four for attack. <laughs> we, we hit. But look. Oh, um, again, should I really be rolling four dice? Well, based on the results I've been getting, I haven't even been succeeding with four dice. So I've got to roll four dice. Oh, come on, defense. I defended, but... Oh, my word. Uh, a, mm, attack. <laughs> Yay, we hit. He's down to one life. But look, every bloody time... Oh, I'm just going to roll through. Uh, I'm going to roll. F mm. I'm going to roll three dice. Just the tired dice. Defend. Yes. Uh, attack. I need. I need. I need. Oh, you. Well, we kill the ogre. Mm. He did. But look. Oh my word. <laughs> God. Okay, the ogre's dead. Should I have run away? Possibly, but I'd have had to encounter him again when I come back anyway. If I if I hadn't if I'd run away, the ogre would was would have stayed there. Oh my word. Right, what do we get for killing the ogre? Two treasure and one glory. Okay, so two treasure and one glory. Now, you can spend glory to perform one free reroll on any dice roll, but once it's used, it's gone forever. So, may have to start using that. Um, treasure points, I've got four. Now, I'm actually in the village now. So now that we've overcome the monster, we can see what's in the in the hex in the terrain. So we're at a village. You can heal up to two dice for a cost of two treasure each. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to spend all of my treasure points. I've only got four, so that's all of them gone. And I'm going to heal back two. Now when you heal, they go back to fresh. So I'm going to take two of my dice from wounded and I'm going to put them into fresh. Now, I, when you go to a village, town or temple, whatever, you can't actually regain your dead dice. You can only regain your dead dice between missions. So I'm not looking too healthy, but we have now gathered the noble woman. We've gone one, two, three hexes. We have still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hexes to go. <laughs> Three down, 14 to go. <sighs> right. Now, because I've defeated all my enemies, there's nothing waiting. But do I need to check again if I move into the same hexes? Or is it just the first time you enter a hex? Oh, I'm reading the mission and it just says every every time you enter a hex. It doesn't say the first time. So if I go here, I've got to roll again. Oh, what's so special about this woman? Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, hang on. 
The mission says you will have no time to rest so you cannot recover any tired dice between battles. Oh no! Oh no, I think I did that twice, didn't I? Oh, I didn't... See, this is the thing, with, with the, the mission the mission details, again, let's, let's just grab that. There's so much to kind of remember. Oh, oh, so I actually wouldn't have been able to... So how am I going to affect this? So I can't actually hear, I can't actually do the tired back to fresh after a battle. I think I did that twice. I didn't do it after the ogre, but I did do it after the chaos lord and the zombies, I think. So I think the fairest way to do that would be this, I think. Okay. I've got to remember in the future. Oh man, that's even worse. You can't, you have no time to rest. So you cannot recover any tired dice between battles. This is a death sentence. There's no way that I can do this. Even if I run away, they're going to get a free hit. And I can't... I can't rest. I've got to hope... And again, those percentages. I've got to hope for minor foes. But the percentage of getting a major foe is crazy. That's got to be a mistake. And I, I, I did ask Andrea, the designer. He confirmed it was correct. But I don't... That's got to be wrong. Those percentages have got to be wrong. All right, let's carry on. So we've got the woman, the noble woman. We've now got to get to the temple. So we move up to here. We check, is there a minor foe? No. Is there a major foe? Son of a... <laughs> and it's another Chaos Lord. Chaos Lord in the house. Oh dear. Mm. See, running away from major foes is just as dangerous as fighting the bloody things. Okay. Chaos Lord. Three hit points. Difficulty five. Uh, I downgrade on one or two. And he kills. Oh my word. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I need fives to hit. I'm gonna roll. Mm, I'm gonna roll three dice. So fresh hits. We've, we've still got to roll the other dice. And swine. Well, we hit him. We do one damage. But look, that was the wounded dice. So now it's dead. Had to be that one, didn't it? Typical. Um, now we have to defend, so I'm going to do the same thing again. So, tired dice, no. Wounded, oh no, sorry. Fresh dice, no. T oh. Tired dice, no. No! Wounded dice, no! So, bonk. Bonk. Bonk, okay. And he kills one dice. Again, I could run away and just kill another. Oh, but again, all right, we're rolling three dice. So fresh, miss, wounded. Oh, succeed. But look, mm. <laughs> oh, defense. We're going to be doing this. Well, we succeed, but still going to roll the dice. Oh, phew. Thank God for that. Right, so we succeed. Now we have to attack. I'm going to be attacking with three dice. Come on. We hit, we kill. Oh, I, yeah, but I still have to roll to see whether they downgrade. No, they don't. Okay. So we kill the Chaos Lord. Dead. So we kill him. Oh, but we're not looking good. <laughs> this is going to be a quick game. So the Chaos Lord, I get one glory. That's a point. I forgot to use my glory again, didn't I? Oh, two TP. I oh, I need the TP. I need to get the, wound, the healing. Now, do I want to go back to town and heal? I've got to roll again. No, it's no point. All right, let's continue. Should we go to the hills? Run to the hills. Minor foe, no. Major foe, so 
son of a... Oh, it's got to be wrong. What major foe is it? A five. Uh-oh. Medusa! Oh, no, we're up against the Medusa. <laughs> oh, no, we're up against the Medusa. Medusa's got three hit points. This is the end. This has got to be the end, surely. I, oh, this, this is how... This is my sixth game of this, okay? I played five in prep to learn the game to practice, okay? And this is how they're all going. All my games have gone this way. All right, Medusa. When you fight a Medusa, you have to decide whether you will look at her or not. If you, if you fight without looking, you may use only rerolls generated with the expenditure of glory. So I can't actually use my free rerolls. If you choose to look at her, you will be able to use all of your attack and reroll resources, but any dice rolling ones are killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Difficulty 5 for persuasion. Uh, okay. She's difficulty 4, but any ones are killed. Okay. So I, difficulty 4, I think I need 3 dice for that. But I do get 2 rerolls. Because I'm in the hills. Yeah? Combat in hills, two free rerolls per turn. So I have to decide whether to use them for attack or defense. Now she's got three hit points. So we need a four to hit. Miss. Hit. Okay. Hit. And no downgrading. Excellent. So we hit her. Excellent. Now I want to defend. And. Okay, we defend, but <laughs> dead. Oh my word! Okay, so these are all these are all wounded dice, um, but we did defend. So attack. So we hit, defend. We are not looking too good. Um, got one hit point. Okay, so attack. Okay, I'm going to re use my re-rolls. <laughs> oh, no. And I use my re-rolls. Oh. Well, we failed, so she does damage. What damage does she do? Uh, doesn't actually say, so I'm assuming it just downgrades. I think if it doesn't say it just downgrades, so we have to downgrade. I'm dead because that downgrades to kill because of the Medusa, and then this downgrades because I didn't defend, and I'm dead. Wow, that was a very quick game. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to play this again. I need to get, have a better playthrough, but this will <laughs> this will suffice as the playthrough for the game intro. You can see how the game kind of works and how bad I am at it. Medusa! Mmm. So yeah, um, game over. How far, how did I do? Donk, 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 dead. That was it. That was the short, the short life of Armalas the Scout. Um, I met one minor foe. <laughs> and one, two, three. Okay, so I met, I met one minor foe and four major foes. And I moved one, two, three, four, five hexes. So every hex that I moved, I encountered an enemy. Yeah? And of those five hexes, four of the enemies were major. There's got to, that's got to be wrong. I know that Andrea said it was right, but that's got to be wrong. Especially for this mission, because you cannot, you don't have the rest between battles. So you can't even get the tired to fresh between battles. And if you roll poorly in terms of starting... I mean, this would have been a lot better. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been it. I would have succeeded. But because I rolled a starting position down here, I had to go to the nearest village, which was down there. I didn't stand a chance. I didn't stand a chance. But <laughs> ignore my cries. Ignore my, my pain. 
I like the game. I like the design. I think it's a very clever, very fun little game. Unless you roll dice like me. Right, I think that that will do for this video. I've gone over the basic game, the rules. We've had a quick little game. <laughs> Very quick little game, so you can basically see how the game flows. But obviously, you haven't seen a lot of what happens in terms of scrolls, magic items, use of glory. Yes, again, I forgot to use my glory. Oh, my word. I'm going to have comments about that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like I say, if it wasn't for my dice rolling ability, yeah, I have that God, dice god given special ability to roll bad dice. If it wasn't for that, I would love this game. <laughs> but as it is, because of the dice, <sighs> love, hate. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think I will do some other playthrough um, videos of this so that we can see. Hopefully, I can have a better game, <laughs> longer game. But like I say, this is the sixth time I've played it. And it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much normal for what I've, what I've encountered so far. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, please press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button as well. And I hope to see you in the next video. So, 96 Quest from Ganesha Games. Recommended unless you roll dice like me. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Stay safe. See you in the next video.